Welcome to Canvas Projects, a virtual program offering from the Pflugerville Public Library. I'm Meg Miller, an adult services librarian, here with another fun project geared to ages 12 and up for you to complete. Those who registered through the library calendar can pick up their material supply kits, and for everyone else watching, we hope you give these techniques a try. This month's project is a Sunset Fall Trees Canvas. Let's start with a look at the supplies being provided. In our manila envelopes this week, we have a nine by, or I'm sorry, an eight by 10 canvas uh, wrapped in the plastic still. Very likely they will have uh, the wooden pieces in there for tightening the canvas. Uh, you can use them if you want to, or you can just set them aside and maybe use them for another craft. Uh, additionally, you'll have a larger brush, a, selection, a section of this uh, vinyl plastic rope um, that we're going to use. It's a little bit longer than your canvas. And then we have our paints here. And I've realized I haven't really shown what types of paints other than generally um, acrylic or whatever. Um, so this month I am going to go ahead and show you the actual paints that we're using. Um, for the brown, I had a lot of leftover, just uh, Anita's all-purpose, and this is earth brown. Um, the peach is another one that we have a bunch of these sergeant peach colors. Um, so I was thinking of a project specifically to kind of go around this color here. Um, then we get into kind of the sunsetting colors. Um, so this is just a spectral yellow from Sargent, a little bit of that. We've got the spectral orange here, and those are just straightforward colors. Um, you'll notice I skipped over my green because I want to get to those. Those are the fun one. In my example, my green was a little bit lighter, um, but when I went and got some more paint, so this is a folk art color shift, and this is the dragon flash. So it's a little bit of a darker green for our bottom. And then um, the top red, I also wanted to add a little bit more of a sheen to it. Um, so I got this Deco Art Americana Pearls. It's a true red, so that should hopefully um, blend a little bit of sheen into our projects. Uh, so additionally to the supplies provided in the kits, um, one of the things you'll need to see, I'm kind of protecting my workspace since I'll be working with paint and in kind of broad strokes. Um, I also have some paper towels to help um, remove a little bit of the paint between my um, colors as well as to clean off um, whatever I use to get the paint out of the pots and onto the canvas. So towards that end, I'll probably use the bottom of the paintbrush here. I've also got a craft stick. Um, this one's a little bit on the wider side, so I may not use that. And then one of the, another paintbrush from one of our previous um, projects. It's a little bit smaller that'll help me get just a little bit more paint out at a time. So I've got the plastic on and I actually want to use the plastic for the tree later. So when I take this plastic off, I'm not going to just immediately throw it away. I am actually going to try and save it so that I can set it aside to use again. So I'm just kind of finding the seams, pulling the plastic away. I'll set my little wooden pieces. Oh, they were stapled to the back of this one. So I've got my canvas. I'll fold my plastic up and set it away for later in this project. But first, I want to do my uh, sunset color gradation through the back. So here is the example. As I said, I used a, it was also a color shift, but it was a green, a lighter green uh, for that there. Um, before I do the trees. So I've got, let's try with the little brush. I'm going to start with the red along the top and rather than painting it on, I'm going to give myself um, some little drops. Actually, let me try. Nope, just as I suspected, that one's a little bit too thick, but if you've got a thinner um, paintbrush at home or a craft stick at home, that should work. So I'm just going to put a little bit of paint of the red across the top using, as you see, the bottom of my brush. And down a little bit more. I'm not quite using all of the paint. I can always come back and get some more if I want to. Add a little bit more to these drops. There we go. All right. 
scraping off what paint I can in case I need it later. I'm not really worried about any little splatters you might notice because as I blend later, those will really get blended right in. So wiped off the bottom of my paintbrush, going to my very next color, and I'm going to do the same thing a little bit farther down. I'm going to add some of these kind of drops. Since we're sending the paint home in the pots, it's not, we've got to take this extra step. It's not like we can just squirt paint straight from the bottle into a couple little drops on the canvas, which if you're doing this and you didn't pick up the material kit, that may be the way you're able to do it. So that you're just giving a couple of little drops there for us to blend together. those guys scrape off my paintbrush wipe off the ends clean it up between mostly the cleaning the brush between paint colors is just so that within the pots themselves I don't really get the paints mixed up here on the canvas I am definitely going to blend them and they're going to mix together so I'm not worried about that there all right let's get some yellow so bright oh Actually, there, yeah. Let's get a drop going. Oop. And a little farther over. Oop. All right, actually, I'm going to leave just a little bit more yellow down the next row. There's my yellow. Clean my yellow off. get my green with that little bit of sheen right there and I'm gonna come from the bottom myself Hopefully I draw. Oh, that was a lot green back on there close my paint pot so I don't accidentally get paint on something so now taking the brush side of my brush I'm just gonna come through and I do want a very thin layer because I want this to dry really quickly so that um, when I come through with the rope I'm able to not smear the colors that are underneath green off the outside there we go so and you can decide for your own project whether you want to paint the sides of the canvas or whether you want to leave them blank so just spreading this paint as I said a very thin layer so it dries pretty quickly I'm gonna clean off my brush here in between colors mostly because I don't want the um, green to really get into the red I can pull it here with the yellow um, and you may want to go ahead and rinse completely between your colors um, I'm just going to open this red get a little bit of that there right, there we go this is my pro red all the way at the top I'm just going to come down here and I'm going to start picking up the orange Bring that orange in to merge those colors together. Getting all the way around if I want to. There's that orange of it. Now I want more orange than anything else. So I'm going to grab a little bit more out of the paint pop here. Oh, that might be a little too much. And then start picking up this yellow. Come back up towards the top a little bit to bring that color in. Really gives you that nice gradation here. And you'll be able to decide how far you kind of want the green of your forest floor to come up or how far down you want your other colors to go. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, wipe off my brush again to get some of those other colors out. 
so that I can really get this yellow to brighten down here towards the bottom. And I'm going to open that paint pot. Get some of that yellow on there, kind of a lot. And there's still just a smidge of that, that orange and red, and I can pick up more of it if I go back up towards the top. Just bring in those sunset colors. If I need to, come back for some more yellow. Alright, there we go. Alright. Get a lot of that paint off my brush. Again, if you decide you can here, you can clean your brush um, with water so that you get back to those truer colors when you come up here. I'm going to go with a little bit of green, kind of extend this here, bring some of that yellow down into my forest floor. And I'm seeing kind of what I feel like is a fair amount of the white canvas underneath. So I'm going to go across again with a really thin layer. All right. And this is pretty much where my paintbrush has done all it needs to do for me. Get a little bit more yellow in here. Brighten this. There we go. I like that. Okay. So while I get ready for the next step, I'm going to go ahead and set my uh, canvas aside. Let it kind of air dry a little bit. I think feel like I have a thin enough layer on here that I'm not going to really disturb any of the look of my sunset when I start painting on and pulling on my trees. Just kind of going across lightly with the brush. A little bit of that color right down into here. So that I don't have any pools of paint anywhere on my sunset. Set you aside for just a moment while I get ready to do the trees. So um, the reason I set aside my plastic is that's what I'm going to use to add the paint to my rope. Um, if you don't want to use the plastic or if you have something else, I used a piece of cardstock to lay the paint out on um, really anything. We just need to be able to make a long line of these two colors of paint on something so that we can get the rope to plot to pick it up so i'm going to open my colors I think this time i'm going to use this guy get my paint down there and i just want a long line of this paint so i'm just going to pour it out in a line scraping the sides of the paint pot even if your line is not the full height of the canvas you will have no problem getting the paint onto your rope at the full length, so don't worry about that too much. All right, there's, we've got our darker brown, and that's just about all of it there. And I want that lighter peach. I've also seen this project done using white paint, uh, but as I mentioned, this peach is something that we've had around, and I've got several bottles of it. So I wanted to do a project where I was making use of this um, so that we could make make sure that we've got that. So I tried this with just the peach. Really thought those trees needed something a little bit more to make them pop. So that's where I brought these uh, darker brown color into play. So just scraping all of the paint out of this pot. This, this one's a little thicker, so it's not pouring in quite the line, but again, I'll be able to get it on my rope no problem, so I'm not too concerned just getting it laid out. All right, and that's basically the majority of those. I set that aside, bring my canvas back, and my rope. Also, if you recall, um, a crafty cafe where we did the um, faux embossing, we used a rope and we put tin foil over it and kind of pushed down. That's where this rope initially came from, um, but it wasn't gluing down the way I wanted. So I set it aside and thought, you know, I don't know, I'll find another project we can use it on. And here it is. So I want to start with the peach color. I kind of also need to get a sense of how long my canvas is. So I know how much of the rope I want to get paint on. 
and I'm holding my fingers there at either end so I can start putting the rope in the paint. Just getting some of that paint on there. There we go. And I'm just going to pick a portion of my canvas. I'm going to set the rope down and pull just a smidge, probably not even an inch, like maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch. And if I feel like I'm not really getting the middle pushing down, I can bring a finger in so that I really get that paint on the canvas. And I'm just going to bring it across. There's the start of one tree. Come back, get some more paint. And see, I kind of want this one to be coming from off the side. There we go. A little bit more. I can also drag through the paint where I was just kind of picking up the paint before. Come right here in the middle. Let's see, just going back and forth this piece. Oh, there we go. That's a good one. And I think I want to give us one more quick tree. I've got enough paint for it. I've probably got enough paint for a little bit more, but I don't really want to go. So I'm going to actually crisscross these guys. There we go. All right, so I've got the start of my trees here. I'm not too concerned about cleaning the rope off from one between one color to the next because that'll just add a little bit more. So I can go right into my darker brown paint, pick that up onto my rope, and again, making sure I can look at it to see that I've got dark brown paint where I want it, and then I'm going to come back. And I like to go the opposite direction just to give it some kind of character. Make sure I'm there, and then I'm going to come back across. There we go. Let's get this brown paint. There we go. All right. Again, using my fingers to make sure I've got contact on all sides. There we go. All right, two more. And I think for this one, I'm going to start, yeah, with the back tree again. I'm going to come across here a little bit, come there, and then the last of my dark brown, really get that on too, there we go, all right, so I've got this kind of side tree here. There we are. And of course, you've got a brush if you feel like you want to kind of clean some stuff up. Or, like right there, I got a little bit of the green. I think my finger probably touched it. I can come back through, give a few little touch ups. Same here on the edge for this. I believe I probably touched it right about there. So I'm just going to grab some yellow, come back in there with that. And there we have it. Some very straightforward trees. Here. I've got oh I've got my right on here. So if I feel like I've got kind of a, a space where my tree really loses something, come back in with that brush and just give us a hint of those other pieces where the tree isn't. That's that winter. Yes, our trees have lost most of their leaves. They should still be their tree shape. Clean up those edges. Come back across to get the same 
direction we want there. Some more on this side. Keep working with it. You will find the look that you like. And if you have white paint around and you want to give this kind of technique a try using that white so it looks a little bit more kind of like those birch, um, I encourage that as well. I hope you enjoyed this canvas project. As always, we look forward to seeing any of your completed paintings. And we will see you next month for the virtual canvas projects. Thanks for watching.